okay so let us see question number 10 now an object of mass 40 kg is raised to a height of 5 meter above the ground okay it is raised to a height of 5 meter above the ground what is its potential energy which formula will we use kon batayega which formula we can use here mgh mgh yes so we will use this formula mgh for potential energy we'll find its value now next part is if the object is allowed to fall find its kinetic energy when it is half way down we are to find kinetic energy when it is half way down so let's find that now so dekhiye we have potential energy equal to mgh now mass is given height is given g we know 9.8 meter per second square how much is the mass of the object what is the mass of object 40 kg 40 and uh, how much is height 15 meter 5 meter so let's put in the values 40 into 9.8 into 5 and if g is uh, not given equal to 10 we have to take it to be 9.8 meter per second square only so g ko hame 9.8 hi lena hai agar nahi given hai to after solving you will get 1960 joule this is the potential energy on the top point here here potential energy is 1 Nine six zero joule. We have seen in the derivation of conservation of energy that whole of this potential energy gets converted into kinetic energy when it reaches the ground. So at ground, total kinetic energy would be nineteen sixty. Here potential energy would be zero. There kinetic energy was zero. And halfway, exactly in the half. journey the half energy will be kinetic and half will be potential so 1960 ka half kitna hua 980 kinetic energy will also be 980 joule midway and potential energy will also be 980 joule so both kinetic and potential energies will be same half way and will be equal to 980 joule each is that clear otherwise if we want to derive it we can do that so to find uh, potential energy height here is half h by 2 okay so at b point let us say b point humne mid point liya hai remember that is don't confuse it with your derivation derivation mein humne b point at any distance x liya tha half nahi liya tha but now we are taking b point at the center so here the height is h by 2 okay for b point the height will be h by 2 that is 5 by 2 2.5 meter so potential energy at b point mgh would be 40 into 9.8 into 2.5 so if you will solve you will get 980 joules exactly and to find kinetic energy we need to have velocity here किस वेलोसिटी से ऑब्जेक्ट यहाँ बी पॉइंट को क्रॉस करके जा रही है यूजिंग द सेम थर्ड इक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन वी विल फाइंड दैट वेलोसिटी फर्स्ट एंड देन वी विल फाइंड काइनेटिक एनर्जी सो यूजिंग वी स्क्वायर माइनस यू स्क्वायर इक्वल टू टू ए एफ वी एट बी पॉइंट यू इज जीरो एट ए पॉइंट ए इज जी एंड डिस्टेंस बिटवीन दीज टू इज एच बाई टू डिस्टेंस बिटवीन पॉइंट ए एंड बी इज h by 2 so put in the values v square is 2 and g is 9.8 9.8 into 5 only theek okay? hai this is 9.8 into 5 only so we have found v square so what is kinetic energy at b point half mv square half m and v square we have found 9.8 into 5 
so this is 8 and when you solve it it is again 980 joule so at uh, half distance from the ground half energy will be kinetic half energy will be potential ठीक है टॉप पे एक एनर्जी होगी बॉटम पे एक एनर्जी होगी सेंटर में हाफ हाफ दोनों एनर्जीज होंगी सो दिस इज द मेन पॉइंट ओके सो दिस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन इफ एनी डाउट इज देयर स्टूडेंट्स यू कैन आस्क यस स्टूडेंट्स यू कैन आस्क इफ एनी डाउट इज देयर इफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज नॉट क्लियर प्लीज आस्क All right. Then let's see next question. Eleventh, what is the work done by force of gravity on a satellite moving around the Earth? Justify your answer. So that is zero, because we have already seen that work done by Earth moving around the Sun is zero. Work done by Moon moving around the Earth is zero. So same way, work done by satellite moving around the Earth is also zero. Who will tell me the reason? Why? Why work done by satellite moving around the Earth would be zero? Can't tell you. And because the displacement is zero. And because, ma'am, tangent uh, every, at every point tangent angle will be made, and uh, uh, tangent angle will also uh, always be ninety degree. Anyone else? In one line, if you want to explain, in one line, how will you give the most appropriate answer? Yes. in one line if i ask you what is the most appropriate answer then how will you say yes jia bolo and because the object is moving in the centripetal motion because work done by centripetal force is always zero ek line mein ye iska answer hai yes you are right centripetal force because work done by centripetal force is zero and then you can draw that diagram of circle centripetal force is along the radius and along the tangent we have displacement and angle between force and displacement is 90 degree so one student also said that angle is 90 degree but now uh, you should be clear about this ki force kaun tha tabhi pata lagega ki angle 90 degree tha and whenever the angle between force and displacement is 90 degree work done is zero in 12th question can there be displacement of an object in the absence of any force acting on it so kya ho sakti hai if no force is acting on the object can there be any displacement we will say if net force on the object is zero then there cannot be any displacement theek hai net force jo hai agar zero hai to fir koi displacement nahi hogi displacement tabhi hogi at least when the force is acting okay let's see question number 13 now a person holds a bundle of hay over his head for 30 minutes and gets tired has he done some work or not justify your answer no because in this case displacement is zero he is standing at one place so displacement is zero let's do 14th question now an electric heater is rated 1500 watt kon batayega ye kya given hai aapko likha nahi hai ki name kya hai from the unit you can make out ki what is this power 100 watt power. Power. power is given very good that is power so power of heater is 1500 watt how much energy does it use in 10 hours so we are to find energy used by it in 10 hours time is given power is given so using the formula of power equal to energy upon time we can find the energy and let's find that energy in kilowatt hour kilowatt hour you know is the unit one unit in which we calculate the electricity bill of our house you calculate the energy consumed and multiply with cost of one unit 
multiply the energy the units consumed with the cost of one unit that will give you the bill electricity bill of your house so here power is 1500 watt and time is 10 hours energy power is energy upon time cross multiply energy will be power into time power is 1500 time is 10 So fifteen thousand, or uh, power was in watt, time was in hour. So watt hour over here. Fifteen thousand watt hour. Now what is thousand watt hour? That is kilowatt hour. ये जो thousand watt hour है इसको हम kilowatt hour भी लिख सकते हैं. So fifteen kilowatt hour or fifteen units you can say. so the electrical energy consumed by heater when it is operated for 10 hours that is 15 units okay that is 15 units have a look at this और एल्स यू कैन डू इज ये फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड वॉट आर आया इसको डिवाइड बाई थाउजेंड कर दो तो दिस इज अनदर वे ऑफ कन्वर्टिंग वॉट आर इन टू किलो वॉट आर तो आप ऐसे भी कर सकते थे कि आप थाउजेंड से डिवाइड कर देते इवन देन इट वुड हैव बीन द सेम थिंग द आंसर वुड हैव बीन फिफ्टीन किलो वॉट आर और फिफ्टीन यूनिट्स All right. Let's see next now. Question number fifteen. Illustrate the law of conservation of energy by discussing the energy changes which occur when we draw a pendulum bob to one side and allow it to oscillate. ठीक है हमने किया example. Why does the bob eventually come to rest? वो rest पे क्यों आ जाता है? Eventually means gradually, धीरे-धीरे. What happens to its energy eventually? and is it a violation of law of conservation of energy no it's not a violation of law of conservation of energy humne to isko conservation of energy ke example mein kiya hai so how can it be the violation we had proved that at every point of journey of the simple pendulum that is at mean and extreme positions total energy remains the same okay so uh, jaise fan jo hai agar hum switch off kare slowly it comes to rest same way they are asking ki why this pendulum bob also slowly comes to rest dheere dheere ye rest pe aa jayega why yes who can get the answer yes the energy will be lost to the surroundings in overcoming resistance of friction against the air so resistance of air will eventually lose waste its energy and eventually it will come to rest theek hai to kahan pe gayi uski energy jo काइनेटिक एनर्जी थी जो पोटेंशियल एनर्जी थी वेयर डज इट गो देन वेयर डज इट्स मैकेनिकल एनर्जी गो देन ये स्टूडेंट्स उसकी एनर्जी कहा गई सो दैट एनर्जी इज लॉस टू द सराउंडिंग इट इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू सम अदर फॉर्म ऑफ एनर्जी बट लॉ ऑफ कंजर्वेशन ऑफ एनर्जी ऑलवेज होल्ड्स तो आप लिखोगे रेस्ट ऑफ द एनर्जी इज loss to the surroundings but total energy the conservation of energy always holds whatever mechanical energy it was having will be lost to the surrounding slowly because it has to uh, do work against friction theek hai to friction ki wajah se dheere dheere apni energy lose kar dega surroundings mein 16th and uh, 17th we have done 16th let's do An object of mass m is moving with constant velocity v. Is का मतलब ये u दिया हुआ है कि initially object is moving with this velocity, so u is v in this case. How much work should be done on the object in order to bring the object to rest? So object is coming to rest. That means final velocity is zero. So when initial and final velocities are given, which formula we will use to calculate work? Yes, students. कौन बताएगा विच फॉर्मूला वी विल बी यूजिंग हियर हम वर्क एनर्जी थ्योरम यस वी विल यूज वर्क एनर्जी थ्योरम अंशिया विल टेल मी द फॉर्मूला ऑफ वर्क एनर्जी थ्योरम 
वर्क टन इज इक्वल टू एम बाय टू ब्रैकेट वी स्क्वायर माइनस यू स्क्वायर यस सो लेट अस यूज दिस फॉर्मूला ऑफ वर्क एनर्जी थ्योरम टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन इज दिस विंडो क्लियर टू यू और शुड आई स्टॉप शेयर विंडो में आपको दिख रहा है बोर्ड यस मैम ओके so in this case u is v and v is 0 and work energy formula is w is equal to m by 2 v square minus u square so put the values here v ko 0 aur u ko v put kar dijiye so this is minus half mv square so the work is minus half mv square in this term only we will be giving our answer because in this case values are not given so we will keep it here only up till here only we will express the answer in terms of m and v that are given in the question no values are given otherwise we could have substituted the values also and solved that any doubt in this question 17th also we had done using work energy theorem yes students any doubt if you have you can ask all right let us come to question number 18 now in each of the following a force f is acting on an object of mass m the direction of displacement is from west to east shown by the longer arrow theek hai jis pe jis arrow pe kuch nahi likha hua hai wo displacement hai to aap usko s likh lo observe the diagrams carefully and state whether the work done by the force is negative positive or zero yes who will tell me in first figure what is the work done zero zero, zero. zero. why why right zero? angle because yes. the angle is 90 degree. degree yes because angle between force and displacement is 90 degree so in first diagram work done is zero what about in second diagram yes what is positive the work done is positive, positive. yes why it is positive positive because this is the direction of displacement yes one by one bolo because force, force and displacement is. are acting in the same direction and in the third negative i'm negative. negative why it is negative why from opposite direction or force and displacement oh, are yes. in opposite direction because displacement is acting in the opposite direction to force direction of force and displacement is in the opposite direction that's why okay let us see question number 19 now sony says that acceleration in an object could be zero even when several forces are acting in it, on it do you agree with her and why yes bataiye ki agar bahut sare force act kar rahe ho to acceleration zero hi hogi dekho if several forces are acting on the object and their resultant is zero and means if a balanced force is acting on the object then acceleration would be zero if several forces are acting on, and their resultant is not zero then acceleration will not be zero then acceleration will be there object will get accelerated theek hai to aap yahan pe yahi likhoge ki acceleration would be zero only if the resultant of these forces is zero if the balanced force is acting on the object only then the acceleration can be zero in case of unbalanced force in case the resultant of these forces is not zero then acceleration will also not be zero all right any doubt students in this question let's do 20th now find the energy in kilowatt hour kilowatt hour wahi unit ho gaya consumed in 10 hours by four devices of power 500 watt each to so, hame uh, pehle one device ki power nikal lenge wahi energy into time se and after that we will uh, uh, energy nikal lenge पावर इन टू टाइम से एंड देन वी विल मल्टीप्लाइड बाई फोर क्योंकि देर आर फोर डिवाइस सो लेट सी वॉट इज द टोटल एनर्जी इन किलो वॉट आर मीन इन यूनिट्स 
तो 500 वॉट इज द पावर ऑफ वन डिवाइस पावर इज एनर्जी ओवर टाइम एनर्जी इज पावर इन टू टाइम वी आर गोइंग टू यूज इट सो एनर्जी ऑफ वन डिवाइस पावर कितनी है उसकी 500 एंड टाइम टेकन बाय इट इज 10, 5000 वॉट आर और वी कैन राइट 5 किलो वॉट आर 1000 वॉट आर को अगेन इफ वी राइट 5 किलो वॉट आर then we can write like this energy of one device then energy of four such devices will be four multiplied by 5 kilowatt hour that is 20 kilowatt hour or 20 units so 20 units of electrical energy are consumed here 20 units of electrical energy are consumed here Is that okay? तो देख लीजिए अगर एक की पावर आप एनर्जी निकाल सकते हो बस फोर से मल्टीप्लाई कर देना है फोर डिवाइस की एनर्जी आ जाएगी आपका सो हैव अ लुक एट दिस इफ एनी डाउट इज देयर स्टूडेंट यू कैन आस ये इफ एनी डाउट इज देअ ओके शेल वी मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इफ इट इज क्लियर okay so let us see last question of the exercise 21st question now a freely falling object eventually stops on reaching the ground otherwise hum kehte hain na ki agar ek freely falling object hai ground pe pahunch ke it has maximum kinetic energy its speed becomes maximum on reaching the ground so they are asking what happens to its kinetic energy in the given situation they are saying ki wo object jo hai wo stop ho jati hai on reaching the ground so what will happen to its kinetic energy otherwise it is expected to have otherwise it is converted to heat energy sound energy wait 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 otherwise it's expected to have maximum potential energy on the ground but they are saying in the question that kinetic energy is reducing to zero now where does that kinetic energy go which is expected to be maximum on the ground now you raise hand collectively you can't speak yes gorav and it will become uh, some of the energy will be converted into heat energy okay. uh, some of uh, that it will be converted into sound energy and uh, <clears throat> due to its configuration some of that will be converted into potential energy some of that will be converted into import import potential mein kaise uh, see he has uh, told correctly ki ground pe jab collision hogi to kuch heat produce hogi ठीक है so, हमें आवाज भी आएगी हमें दैट्स व्हाई वी कम टू नो कि कोई ऑब्जेक्ट नीचे गिरी है तो साउंड एनर्जी भी होगी एंड रेस्ट ऑफ द एनर्जी विल बी लॉस्ट टू द सराउंडिंग्स और सम एनर्जी विल बी यूज्ड इन डिस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट आल्सो हो सकता है वो ऑब्जेक्ट टूट भी जाए नीचे गिर के ठीक है तभी वो दोबारा से उठ नहीं पाई इट इट्स कैनेटिक एनर्जी वॉज रिड्यूज टू जीरो वो टूट भी गई होगी सो सम एनर्जी इज कन्वर्टेड टू बी यूज इन डिस्ट्रक्शन some energy is used up in destruction of the object as well so aap likhoge so kinetic energy is converted into heat energy sound energy some energy is converted uh, some energy is used up in destruction of the object and rest of the energy is lost into the surroundings so means kehne ka matlab ye hai ki jo bhi kinetic energy honi chahiye thi uske paas is converted into other forms of energy <clears throat> okay that is converted into other forms of energy <clears throat> now our uh, syllabus is 100% over with the exercise and today you are going to have the test also complete your copies so i'll be asking uh, you for your copies also right uh, chaliye ek uh, extra question likhiye ab can an object have momentum 
without having energy can an object have momentum without having energy yes who will tell me can an object have momentum without having energy kisne hand raise kiya yes socho कि अगर कनेक्ट उसमें एनर्जी नहीं है एक ऑब्जेक्ट में कोई भी एनर्जी नहीं है तो कैन इट हैव मोमेंटम इज इट पॉसिबल टू हैव मोमेंटम यस चैतन्य ओके अंशी आप बोलो नो मैम वाई एक्सप्लेन Mem, because the momentum is uh, dependent on the velocity, and uh, uh, if there is no energy, there will be no velocity in the object. Hmm. So that means, if there is no energy, means the kinetic energy is also not there. So if kinetic energy is zero, the velocity of the object is also zero, and momentum depends upon velocity. Velocity will also be zero. Okay. So how can you justify it? If the object doesn't have any energy, that means it doesn't have kinetic energy as well. Okay, so if kinetic energy is zero, okay, kinetic energy is p square by two m, that is zero. Mass can never be zero. That means momentum is zero. ठीक है तो अगर kinetic energy zero है तो momentum हो ही नहीं सकती क्योंकि kinetic energy also depends upon velocity and momentum also. डिपेंड्स अपॉन वेलोसिटी मास तो कांस्टेंट रहता है वो तो जीरो हो ही नहीं सकता एनी ऑब्जेक्ट शुड हैव मास इट कैन नॉट एग्जिस्ट विदाउट मास वी कांट सी एनी ऑब्जेक्ट इन आर सराउंडिंग दैट इज विदाउट मास ओके इज दैट क्लियर चलिए वन मोर क्वेश्चन राइट डाउन कैन एन ऑब्जेक्ट हैव can an object have energy without having momentum now the question is can an object have momentum without can an object have energy without having momentum ab bataiye ab kya answer ho yes gurupal you raised hand you want to answer yes god क्या कहा बच्चे आपका माइक में बहुत ज्यादा डिस्टरबेंस है हाँ जी गौरव आप बोलो यस मैम मैम एज पोटेंशियल एनर्जी हैज एम जी एच फॉर्मूला मैम वेयर मास इज कॉन्स्टेंट बट मैम देयर कॉन्फ़िगरेशन मैम उसकी कॉन्फ़िगरेशन की एनर्जी होती है पहले बताओ यस की नो यस यस तो अब आप कह सकते हो कि वेन मोमेंटम इज नॉट देयर काइनेटिक एनर्जी जीरो होगी नो डाउट अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस फॉर्मूला काइनेटिक एनर्जी विल अगेन भी जीरो बट इट कैन हैव पोटेंशियल एनर्जी सो यस इट कैन हैव एनी अदर फॉर्म ऑफ एनर्जी इफ मोमेंटम इज जीरो इफ नॉट काइनेटिक एनर्जी इट कैन हैव पोटेंशियल एनर्जी और एनी अदर फॉर्म ऑफ एनर्जी उसके ऊपर तो कोई रिस्ट्रिक्शन नहीं तो इसका आंसर है यस yes. पहले क्वेश्चन का आंसर था नो सो यू हैव ऑलवेज टू थिंक अबाउट इट एंड देन आंसर अकॉर्डिंगली ऑल राइट सो डू द प्रैक्टिस ऑफ दीज टाइप्स ऑफ एक्स्ट्रा क्वेश्चंस एंड आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू वन प्रैक्टिकल एक्टिविटी आल्सो ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दिस चैप्टर एज आर चैप्टर इज ओवर पावर के ऊपर मैं आपको एक टास्क दे रही हूँ एक असाइनमेंट दे रही हूँ छोटी सी और वो आप कंप्लीट करोगे ठीक है आई एल बी गिविंग यू अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम टू कम्प्लीट दैट right so what you have to do you will uh, see the electricity bill of your house for any two months uh, like you are getting the receipt so you see the electricity bill of your house and compare it to the uh, bill of two neighbors also please get the electricity bill slip from your neighbors also okay and uh, then make a comparison and i'll send you rest of the activity what you have to do with those slips in your physics group theek hai to wo aap complete karoge next week tak 